Okay, so organic pest control. So we're gonna back up just a split second. What's the best pest control for your tower garden? Neem oil. Wrong. <laughs> Wrong. Use it. <clears throat> Touch it every day. That's the best form of pest control. Keeping your plants healthy, which is a healthy plant is being looked after, it's being used, it's being eaten. The reason that he says that is, here's a perfect example. We keep scratching our heads going, are we gonna need to spray something organic on our farm? We have sprayed nothing on this farm yet at all this year. Since December 13th. Because we're constantly, zero. we're constantly harvesting it. We're constantly eating off of it. So when you're- What do you do when you have squirrels and rabbits in it? We have zero squirrels and zero rabbits. That was a question. Zero squirrels, zero rabbits. What do you on do? On your tower? Yes. Wow, I've never ever seen a squirrel rabbit on a tower ever. <laughs> Time to get up. Steve. Wow. Get out the shotgun, dude. Yeah. I mean, talk to the Georgia boys, they'll help you out. I'm very, I'm very, very surprised. I'm very surprised that you guys actually have a rabbit and squirrel. Cause, wow. Cause usually, well, you got str well, there you go. That's like diamonds and gold. <laughs> usually, usually um, the water feature actually keeps those animals away, we found. So, I would put up um, a little, a little fence around your tower. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Where do you, you guys must live like out in the, no. where do you live? Yeah. <laughs> they live in the orange curtain. Okay. Thanks, Heather. Cayenne pepper seems to be stopping them for a while. Okay. Well, there, there's, um, there's a lot of good resources online. Like UC Davis has an incredible um, resource center and, and there's some other things you can look, look at for those type of pests. And um, we really, that's the first, in I have two actually years, first, that's the first ever, I've yeah. heard of that. Yeah, I'm not kidding. I've heard the deer problem as well. Well, deer, yeah, I've, heard. deer, deer yeah. I've heard, but not the little animals. Um, you know, snails, yeah, they, they're crafty and and they're slow moving, but man, they can get they can they can get on a tower. It's amazing. You know, copper and and salt are your friend there. So with snails, so um, two things I want to make sure everybody leaves with for their pest control, and it's really. All this stuff is really pretty simple, you guys, but people don't read and people don't listen sometimes, so they just need to be told again, that's all. Um, two things when you're, when you're using um, organic pest control is uh, mix it fresh every time. And what's the other one, Eric? Well, I don't know. You go Spray at night, you, buddy. You, you tell me. Spray at night. So. Um, so mix your stuff fresh each time, clean the bottle out afterwards, um, spray either early morning or late in the day when there's no direct sun. And usually there's only a few different types of pests issues that you have. And so a, an insecticidal soap uh, and a neem oil will handle most things um, unless you live in Georgia in a greenhouse. Um, then you gotta get a little more serious, right? But really, in California, where we're at, we're pretty blessed. You know, there's aphids, white flies, carotid bug, a um, couple other things. But really, it's pretty, it's pretty straightforward and simple. Um, there's, there's, I guess if you're doing tomatoes and you get worms and things like that, there's thuricide, <coughs> which is the other um, organic pest control that is recommended by Future Growing. And... Um, and those things are really all you're gonna really ever need. But again, if you're paying attention to your tower and you're focused on what you're doing, like here at the farm, we have not sprayed a thing. We have a few bugs floating around, but there's nothing really, nothing's getting a stronghold, if you will. And don't, and, don't, and don't be afraid to try stuff, you know? Yep. Just try stuff out. I mean. I'm probably more, what, Todd's a little more by the book, but me, he just comes over to my house and I'm testing this and testing that. And I'm like into the, you know, like let's try something new in science and like, let's go for it. Um, so I had, a, I had an, or, you know, an organic farmer over here and he really helped me with understanding a little bit more about the Brigada bug. And he told me that last year when the Brigada bug wiped out all these organic farmers, the ones that actually were able to raise a crop were the ones who put a mosquito net over their over their crops. So like if I was to get that really bad here, I'm gonna throw a mosquito net over the top of all my towers that are growing that particular produce 
that they're wanting. I don't know if that'll work for your squirrel deal, but it might. So I'm just saying like, get a little creative and think outside the box. And you know, like that's something where you throw the net over, you can open it up, go inside, pick what you harvest and come back out of it type thing. Well, another thing, somebody just said something about beneficial insects. And yeah, we actually have ladybugs here, praying mantis here. Um, and so there's, there's, there's a lot of things. Also, by the way, uh, last summer I had a wicked aphid problem on my kale and I just used a hose and just hosed them out of there. And that works too. Mm -hmm.